All right, this has you watching a Mill Beer Review, and this is part three from North Mountain Brewery in North Central Phoenix. Check it out, yeah. All right, the next one, and I love this name. You can't get more metal than this. This is NIB, Imperial Stout. Yes, that's right, Nativity in Black, Imperial Stout. Now this is a 13% beer, 50 to about 55 IBUs. I mean, 13%, this is border almost a barley wine, but it's an uh, Imperial Stout. So we're gonna try this, and we'll see if I, I crash the floor when this happens, so. Oh, oh my God! Wow! This is potent! This has got some serious malts to it! And I'll be uh, lucky to walk out of here, to be perfectly honest. No, this is, I'm, oh my God, this is, now, here's the thing, it does have that barley wine characteristic because the alcohol content, but you can taste those heavy malts as an imperial stout and not a barley wine. And the hops, you're not, even with 60 IBUs, which it's between 50 and 60, but you're not gonna taste the IBUs in this because you're not gonna taste the hops over this malt. It is just like intense, crazy, insane, madness kind of malts. So, I will admit, you have to try this. Especially if you're drinking to forget, this will make you forget, trust me. So, try it. NIB, Nativity in Black, Imperial Stout, from North Mountain Brewing. Hell yeah, ha <laughs> ha. All right, now I'm hanging out with Robert, who is the brewer slash owner of North Mountain Brewery down in North Central Phoenix. And we are trying, I can't remember the goddamn name. What are we trying? You're trying the Transilium. The Transilium. So tell us a little bit about this beer. Okay, it's, it's uh, in the style of an old ale. It's a little, traditionally, uh, old, old ales are a little lower in alcohol. Nowadays, we don't make them so low because we, yeah. we really like them and we bump them up. So that's almost 11% alcohol. Okay. Um, it's got a lot of deep crystal in it, so it gives you a lot of those darker fruit flavors, some of the pruny, raisiny flavors. And that Interesting. Nice, I like the sound of it. It's a very tasty beer. So, I'm going to try this out. He is not kidding about that prune raisin flavor. Wow. This, no, I mean, you get that fruit flavor really coming out to you. It's kind of funny because it's kind of resident of a, like a barley wine, but it's not a barley wine, not by any stretch. And, but the flavor is really, really got that fruity, alcoholic taste that you get from a barley wine, but it's not. I mean, honestly, this has done a really good job with this one. I, I like this. Oh, I really like that beer too. Of course. So, well, so how, how else did you make this? What do you mean? How did you make this, or what, oh. what are some of the ingredients you used? And oh, it's it's mostly it's it's standard British. Uh, British malt base, and it has all the dark crystals. We even went to a Patagonian malt because they had the deepest crystal at 100, mm. 160 Lava Bond. So it goes basically starts at uh, at 77 and works all the way up to 120. So all the deep crystals. Yeah, that's a, not a big hop character, but any type of heavy alcohol beer, you're not going to get a big hop character with it unless you get up to 120, which is just insane. But this is really, really good beer. So you guys. If you like your strong beers, you have to try this. This is, what is it? The Drensillian. Drensillian! Nah! You gotta try it. This is awesome stuff. Yeah! Alright, and we are signing off from North Mountain Brewery in North Central Phoenix. Man, they got some awesome beers here. They is something else to try. So, you gotta try it. So, that being said, drink beer, listen to metal, and check out North Mountain Brewery in North Central Phoenix. You gotta try it. Stay metal. Yeah. It is NIB. Fuck me, runner. And check out North Mountain Brewery. Fuck me running!
You're not worthy. You're not worthy. Uh, uh.